so this is my setup right here. Uh, I've been streaming those three days here at the Embedded World. Uh, we're filming right now with the Astro Slide, so you can check out the camera quality. So it's the Yolo Box Pro with three HDMI inputs, USB host, so I can get a fourth HDMI input. I'm not using those two inputs right now. I'm just doing a selfie with a Filmic Pro running on a Samsung. I could do it with my Huawei too. When it runs out of power, I just swap the, the camera. Right now, this one is down to 23% after three hours and a half. Um, let me go right here so people can actually watch. Uh, so uh, I'm present. Sorry, people in the live chat. I'm, I'm showing what my setup. So uh, there you have it with live chat. People were posting comments on your video right there. I just put the comments on top of the video. I can do it full screen like this if I want to uh, monitor in full screen. I try to balance my weight so I can even do it hands free a little bit, walk around like, a, is it called the frog walk? Or the way I'm walking? Yeah, I'll, I'll take it out. This is the frog walk. I can walk around with the independent rod like this, balance a little bit. Here got a 5G router. You can see, um, this is ZTE 5001. And it's using a bunch of gigabytes over the 5G. And at the same time, this is going Ethernet in uh, to the to the Yolo Box Pro. And there's a 4G O2 SIM card. So I've got Deutsche Telekom Plus O2. They are bonded using Speedify VPN that's running on the Yolo Box using the hack, some kind of hack I'm able to run right here. Um, and uh, I can what about the Yolo. camera? What about the camera? I can do a dual view right here. And this is my Panasonic G9, which is still the best camera in the world, kind of, even though it's a little bit out of focus sometimes. Uh, but uh, I, I'm thinking to eventually change to something that will have perfect uh, uh, autofocus. It's not yet. Sorry about the autofocus once, once in a while. Um, this is the most expensive power bank I ever bought. It's 100 watts, so it's got enough power to give power to the yellow box right here so I can power it up and there's it shows how much power is being used it's got enough power to run the yellow box for three hours more so in theory I could do six and a half hours of live streaming if I keep swapping this battery I only got one more maybe I'm not sure I forgot to charge one battery last night so I'll be swapping over to the dummy battery which is hanging right here I have a dummy battery that will go over the power bank to extend the live streaming of the main camera too. So I can try to do my targeted five hours per day. Uh, this is my and and this is exercise for me. The last the three years of uh, uh, what's it called the uh, COVID, I need to do some exercise. So I'm taking everybody to the gym with me. You can see how I I try to work out. I sweat in my light hat and. Um, Everything powered around the Yellow Box Pro, which is running on a Qualcomm uh, 660. Uh, I don't know how they capture all these. It's so cool. They got a bunch of functions here. They even have an HDMI out. If you can see up here, they have a Type C that also does display out. Uh, it has a microphone input, a line input. So, but right now, I take the shotgun mic. I use the shotgun mic uh, because I've had a little bit of interference when I was filming at the ST Boost today. I didn't want to have a clipping and stuff because there's so much Bluetooth everywhere in the show. So I got one comment, yes, on the first day, never use wireless microphone. So I shouldn't do that. I did that in the first two days. 95% of the time it was okay, but then it's always this 5% when a busy booth has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and uh, everything and it starts to clip. And uh, So now I'm just doing the shotgun mic. But I like to have a combination of uh, wireless mics and going over to shotgun back and forward. I'll think about that. Maybe I'll connect the wireless directly here and have a shotgun there and just switch. Because there's a this sound sound mixer. I can choose the audio inputs and I can uh, put people on hold. Uh, and then they, they, they watch this video right now while I'm on hold and I put them back. So that's what I've been doing here at the Embedded World. I've been wanting to live stream for a long time, but uh, thinking of the funny way to do it, this is a cool way to do it. Otherwise, I might get the uh, play computer smart glass as soon as you release them. I'm joking. Uh, that would be but, great. Uh, maybe I'll get the smart glass to see the live chat in my face. It's one of the plans I have also. And uh, looking forward to IFA. IFA 2022 is not going to be canceled. I've decided already. Olaf Schultz told me everything is going to stay open. 
the rest of the year. Even CES is going to be normal CES, and you won't need to get special um, uh, medical treatment to attend. That's what I have heard. I mean, I'm joking. I have no idea. Uh, I wish I could have gone to to SID Display Week. You went there, and I'm yep. very jealous. You took a bunch of videos. I should maybe try to see if I can edit something. You can out have of the them. Videos. You can have them, Nicholas. All right. Cool. All the best. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for showing my equipment. I, I No worries. I needed to do that. That's so cool.